if you guys love food as much as we do this video is definitely for you because i'm gonna show you what we cooked for this christmas romanian food by the way back home with i know it looks like we bought a lot of veggies but honestly we did just because during the winter time we pickle almost everything everything is more cheaper there so yeah we take advantage every single time we go i bought this sweater you guys won't believe how much i paid for it it says lacoste but obviously it's not original you know um in the size small anyway i paid five euros five five euros for it and then i got four identical tops different colors this is not cotton it's like nylon and elastane but it feels very very soft like i got my favorite honey but i know this is not 100 percent acacia it's like mixed with polyflower or whatever that's called then i could find finally pollen this was only five euros can you believe and the honey it was 10 euros lemons pineapples as you can see and you guys can you believe i paid two euros 75 or so for all of these beautiful mangoes can you believe that everything is a lot cheaper there trust me and for three mangoes we paid five euros five euros three mangoes mamma mia cauliflower, peppers, and cucumbers. Honestly, ew. But my boyfriend likes them, so that's that. There you have it. Snails. And if you wonder if they smell, yes, they do. And I don't like that. Mish, Halloween is over. <laughs> you don't scare me. That lamp is not even warm. <laughs> Look at her shadow. <laughs> this is so funny, honestly. A few moments later. <laughs> you guys i'm going to finally dry out the phyllo dough because that needs to be done on friday i'm going to uh, like make the sweet like you know with the sugar soak it whatever but till then it needs to dry out completely so i'm going to dry those and probably put them on top of my fridge i'm drinking water listening to music having a good time i don't know why i'm doing this but what the fuck is this so i just googled how would you translate torte de crachun in english and uh, this is very accurate christmas cake with walnuts but wait there's more. <laughs> they call it Jesus diapers. Like, what the heck? I 
burned some of them, but honestly, I don't care. Can you hear the crunch? Oh my goodness, I love this. Mm. So good. Good morning, beautiful people. I'm currently finishing my coffee and watching Loteria de Navidad. You guys, we bought tickets. Let's hope we win. I mean, I'm like, I'm completely sure we're gonna win something this year. 2022 is gonna end on a beautiful note. These are our tickets. Uh, we tried to get like angel numbers, as you can see here. <laughs> very repetitive numbers because i don't know i think this is the winner this year like the big one this is the big one i don't know why i have that feeling yes spain we like variety here we like variety you see what they did here let's accept each other no matter what skin color we have we are all equals i'm telling you these girls they have the magic in their hands. So we don't have the other two numbers. Let's see if we have this one. Wow, another fifth prize. This is insane, like the emotions I have. So we didn't have the previous one. Let's see if we have this one, okay? No, we don't have this one either. <sighs> okay, universe, I see you. Good morning, beautiful people. How are you? So today is Friday, December 23rd, and it's my boyfriend's birthday. We are getting old, you guys, we are getting old. Today, we are finally going to make the Turte de Crecion. I'm going to show you how to put them together so that's what we are going to do today and i think i'm going to make sarmale as well but i'm not gonna cook them i'm just going to make them and put them in the fridge till tomorrow finally found you yeah my life is sweet like cinnamon like the fucking dream i'm living in how do you like me now <laughs> uh, so I am currently oiling my hair and I don't know why but I felt the need to put a little bit of makeup on I did foundation eyebrows and this weird wing liner I tried the hack where like if you have hooded eyes you do your wing liner with your eyes open so it looks like this when you look down uh, it's not completely bad but it looks much better when I have my eyes open. Let me know if you try this hack. So I totally forgot to toast a little bit the walnuts before chopping them But I'm going to do it anyway So I'm going to have them in the oven for like 10 minutes or so Then I have uh, vanilla sugar powder, vanilla sugar Lemon essence, a little bit of vanilla, more lemon Then essence, this is rum And no, it doesn't have alcohol then I have more vanilla, powdered cinnamon, and then nuez moscada. I don't know how this is called in English. But yeah, this is all you need for the turte. Uh, and of course, the turte and los turtes are up there. It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV. Couples and Christmas trees. Gifts wrapping in cheer. Just the worst time to be with a someone special in all the movies there kissing in the snow holding hands and mittens picking together at home i like the movies when i'm walking in the snow cold hands and mittens eating gingerbread home alone. i dream of december nights kissing under bright lights snowflakes in my head carols playing in the air i dream of the 
So nice, but it has to rest till tomorrow, so it gets everything soaked in there with the flavors. <clears throat> I cannot wait to eat this tomorrow. We're making lunch right now. We're gonna have some seafood. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh my goodness! It has eggs. Wow. Now I'm making the filling for sarmale, so I have grape leaves and then I have some cabbage, pickled cabbage. This is not ready just yet, but because I'm going to cook it, it's just fine. Here I have ground uh, beef, but it's preferable a little bit of pork in there for that juicy fat, but beef, it's totally fine. I chopped some carrots, onions, and different color peppers. Then I have celery root. I don't know exactly the name of this. And this is called uh, parsnip. Oh my goodness, such a difficult name to remember. So I'm going to add all the veggies in there, cook them for a little bit. I'm missing the rice. Here I have all the spices I'm going to add to this sarmale. Right now it needs to boil because we don't want the juice in there. We need this to be as dry as my face. So we have uh, chili flakes, we have thyme, veggie stock or veggie consomme, I don't know. Uh, seasoning, maggi seasoning, uh, fried tomato paste, paprika, black pepper, and herbs more herbs and at the very end i'm going to add the parsley and maybe a little bit of dill in there for a kick of flavor we like flavorful uh, food we like spices we like herbs we like delicious food okay i did wash my rice uh so i usually use round rice but now i have long rice so it's totally okay use whatever rice you have I definitely need to taste it to see if it needs more seasoning and you guys trust me when I say there's never enough parsley okay trust me when I say it and again there's never too much deal this is gonna be bomb okay so I decided to make some homemade croissants but honestly they are not croissant they are a different kind of croissant so uh, for this um, dough I'm using uh, pork fat sour cream flour a little bit of salt a little bit of lemon juice a little bit of lemon juice one egg and some vanilla extract I'm going to mix everything together and basically that's it that's the dough Okay, so I had to dig my hands in there to knead a little bit this dough. So I'm going to let it chill in the fridge till tomorrow. Because I'm not going to make... Ah! I'm not going to make the croissants tonight. 
this needs to chill in the fridge for at least two hours you can definitely use butter but honestly i love this type of croissant with the pork fat i'll see you tomorrow okay so i added a bed of cabbage because i don't want my sarmale to stick to the pan this is absolutely freaking delicious and it's not even ready yet so i'm going to roll the um, sarmale you will see how easy it is this is a tedious process i'm gonna be here for at least two hours <laughs> okay let's hope not so this is how my sarmale look honestly uh, i run out of grape leaves because look how much filling i still have i'm going to freeze this for another time but also the cabbage wasn't good enough because it's like too stiff and i can't roll it anyway i'm going to add some smoked pork belly for that smoked flavor in there and I'm going to let this on the balcony till tomorrow. Oh my god. Like, I'm telling you, I wish you could smell this right now. First, I'm going to have my coffee. Okay, let's just take things slowly. Okay, this is burning right now. So, I'm going to put this to the side. I had it on my balcony outside in the cold. So as I'm going to sip from my coffee because it's still so very hot, I'm going to bake the sarmale. Some people like to cook them on the stove. I personally like to put them in the oven and forget about them. In my humble and personal opinion, I feel like baking them, it tastes, I don't know, better. But that's just me, okay? You do you. If you make sarmale, cook them however your heart desires so as you can see i added the list of list what the leftover uh grape leaves on top to cover everything and then i put just a little bit of tomato sauce now i'm going to add water so it covers everything I'm going to have the temperature on a medium because I don't want them to boil in there. I just want them to slowly simmer and to cook. And if you wonder what we have here, can you guess? No? Okay, I'm going to show you. So yesterday we boiled um, beef tripe. So we are making again beef soup. It just needs to be finished. Okay, I'm going to take care of this a little bit later. It's the end of the day. TV, couples and Christmas trees, gifts wrapping in cheer. Just the worst time to be with someone special in all the movies there. <laughs> Kissing in the snow, holding hands and mittens, baking together at home. I like the movies when I'm walking in the snow. transfer the soup in here and then back in there again so i need to bring this to the same temperature as the soup that's the main goal here okay so let's do that is 
ready as you saw i'm going to let her rest and hope for the best the cream and eggs won't separate okay let's see oh my goodness yeah look at this rice <gasps> it smells so good it's boiling hot wow motherfucker this smells extremely good Mm. Oh my god! And yes, the grape leaves are eatable. The problem is that these are store bought and some of them are a little bit too stiff, if that's the right word to describe them. The ones that my mom sends are softer, so they are easy to chew. But these are good, okay? Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Someone said to show how we make momoliga. Maga, this is for you. So we're gonna have momoliga with horseradish and the leftover meat from the soup and what you saw in that huge um, olla. We're gonna make this gelatin thing called rachitura. Rachitura, what the heck was that? with that accent oh my goodness something went wrong it's supposed to be like gelatin so that's what we're gonna have for lunch today uh, i'm currently boiling some potatoes because it goes well with the meat and mama liga and yeah i'm currently waiting for my boyfriend to get home he's the one that makes mama liga uh i can do it too but i'm not a fan and uh, you bet you bet we have a chawun from romania uh, I think this is called the uh, kettle, maybe kettle. I don't know exactly. I'm going to have the name here on the screen. How is this called in English? But we use this to make momoliga, to um, toast sunflower seeds, and also to make popcorn. And that's it. That's what we use it for. I don't know how I called this earlier, but this is horseradish. Uh, this is bought, and God knows for how long it's been sitting in this. Uh, jar this will do but it's not like the fresh one okay the fresh one burns like very similar to wasabi but a little bit different like i could eat this as it is because it's not spicy anymore definitely not spicy anymore and why does it why is it sweet this one definitely lost its power and all the benefits that came with that burn sensation it's just, it's sweet. Why the heck? Oh yeah, it says sugar. Great. up and i used my Too faced lip injection lip gloss and now it's burning like hell but i love it so i'm going to get to the bar to give this lady i know some torte because that's what you do on christmas you gift food or whatever i'm going to take her some torte let's hope she likes them. Rocking around a Christmas tree. I don't know the lyrics. So, as I told you guys earlier, I went and I got my friend some torta de crachon. And she was so happy, but she didn't know exactly what. Because we call torta more things. So, she didn't know exactly what I gave her. And after I left, she called me. She told me that reminded her of childhood, obviously, and Christmas with family. And yeah, she said, I like, I made her happy. And she was about to call her mom to tell her about the torte that her grandma used to make. 
when she was a child so do better on christmas and not just on christmas okay if you can share food on christmas just do it you'll never know how much that means for the other person so i guess mission complete um this really brings me happiness i made her happy i'm happy everyone is happy so yay for me i guess uh anyway if you want some torte come over we have some more still and boyfriend is like knocked out he said uh sarmale are Jeff kiss. I hope Santa will bring amazing gifts to everyone who's watching right now. I don't think he will stop by this house because we don't have the tree up. Uh, it is what it is. We have two cats. One of them is crazier. So that's why we don't have the tree up. Also, this is our last Christmas in this house. I'm not sad, but I'm not happy either. I don't like... I don't like changing places. I don't like moving stuff. <sighs> it, it's stressful. So yeah, this is our last Christmas in this house. Uh, the owner already sold it. And we have like two months time to live. Um, I guess that's it from me. I will see you guys tomorrow. And I'm waiting for you to tell me what Santa gave you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> uh, I really hope Santa brought you exactly what you asked for. Okay, as I said last night, he didn't pass by this house. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad, Santa. I'm not mad. But I won't forget this. Anyway, we are ready to have lunch. Okay, so let me show you. I'm currently... Uh, warming up the soup I mean this is like boiling right now uh, but yeah I'm waiting for my boyfriend because he went to the garden because he was hoping it will find more green chilies but like no I don't think so we already bought some green chilies from the market but anyway I already prepared the table uh, so we're gonna have the soup with sour cream crushed garlic and uh, pickled gel jelly what <laughs> pickled chilies or fresh chilies i personally like fresh chilies but sometimes we cannot find them we also gonna add a little bit of vinegar in the soup and uh, salt if it needs more but let's not forget about the shots that's a must and we also gonna have some sarmale after the soup obviously anyway <laughs> so that's our lunch for the christmas day Merry Christmas. Crăciun fericit. Merry Chrysler. Crăciun fericit. I made this bread a few days ago. It's kind of hard, but it's okay. Hmm. You guys, this came out so freaking delicious. <sighs> My, like I'm drawing right now. So this is almost live. Well, not really because the vlog will go up tomorrow. But today is December 25th. Christmas day and uh, mm. Mm -hmm. like I don't think you understand how good this is and it's a simple dessert but yet so freaking yummy obviously I'm proud of myself like the fuck <laughs> so you guys fun fact I didn't got to make the cornulette or mini croissants croissants However, I told you they are cold. Just because I was waiting for this friend to bring me. You know what this is? Write in the comment section right now if you know what this is. Like, I'm gonna tell you anyway. But if you know, you know. 
this is Turkish delight and this type of mini croissants are the best made with Turkish Turkish delight you can use jam doesn't matter I prefer Turkish delight this is the dough right now is 9 30 p.m. on the first day of Christmas I'm going to make them okay I'm going to make them because tomorrow I think we're gonna go visit his aunt and I want to uh, give them some mini cornulette or croissant They are getting fluffy. It smells so freaking good. I wish you could smell this. And this is the final result. I do not recommend you to serve them warm. Okay, they are much better and trust me when I say this, they are much better the next day. Okay, so let them completely cool down and um, try them the next day. Oh, you guys, I forgot to show you that we also made racitura. I know it doesn't look very cute. Uh, it has pork, garlic, black pepper, and we also added some beef in there. We cooked this for like six hours or so. That's how it got to this point. So I'm trying to put my hair into a bun and she's judging me. She's judging me hard. Look at her face. Alrighty, beautiful people. So that was it. This is our Christmas. I mean, I know Christmas isn't over yet, but tomorrow we're gonna go spend some time with his aunt. You know, family time, I guess. So I'm not gonna vlog. By the way, I did fast forward a few days so I can have this vlog up for tomorrow, Monday. Um, but I will still post what I have from weeks ago. So I hope it's not confusing, okay? If you love food as much as we do, this vlog is definitely for you. And please let me know in the comments below if you ever tried any of the food I showed you in today's video. Beef tripe soup is definitely our favorite. We cook that soup every other two or three weeks. I just love it. So I guess that was it for today. So from our home to yours, Merry Christmas and very happy holidays. And I hope you guys have an amazing time with your family. Keep up with them because sometimes you get to see them only on Christmas or Easter. And that's not, that's not how it should be. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing time. Please, please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and um, I love you. Bye, see you next time.